Heidi Ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Den of Tools. We're going to check in on the used truck market and find out if it's getting any better or is it just as bad as it has been. All right, what do we got here? 1996 Dodge Ram 3500 Magnum 4x4, 85,000 miles, garage kept 18.5, fifth wheel hitch included. Did I say it's a V10? V10. Those look like newish tires. Oh yeah, there's a lot of tread left on those. We got tow mirrors. Don't know how much of the inside you can see there. There's that. Back seat. Paint looks pretty good for red. Red down here does not do well in the sun long term. There's our hitch. Well, there you saw it. You saw the walk around the truck. You saw it inside. It was a pretty clean truck, but 18.5? 18, 18, that's a lot of money for a truck that old, a 96. So I decided to shop around and see what else is out there. Let's take a look at it. We went over to Kelly Blue Book just to kind of set a baseline, see what our expectations for price should be. And this 96 Dodge Ram 3500 Club Cab 4x4, everything this truck has, I put it all in there, and it's telling me that private party, the range should be between 5'2 and 8'8. Eight, eight. And I thought, well, maybe they're just undercutting it there. Let's see what NADA, well, JD Powers now, they, they have it. And they're saying the average retail, retail should be $7,000. That, again, that, this is making it look like these guys are, are just crazy. They're out of their minds asking 18.5 for this thing. Now, let's look around the, the market, though, and see what the market has. Here is a, let me get you the full picture here. We had a 98, so we're still talking another uh, second-gen Ram. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the second-gen Rams went from, I think, 94 to 2002. I could be wrong. Anyway. Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie. This so this is a step up. We're going up to the Laramie because uh, the uh, actually I think the other one is a Laramie SLT. I could I take it back. So we're still in the Laramie here SLT extended cab. Uh, this has got the long bed. It's rear wheel drive. So we're losing the four wheel drive. We're getting two years newer, but it's twelve nine. That seems that's a pretty good price there. Now the question is, is it as clean? Let's look at the mileage. Well, here's here's where we get it. It gets us on the mileage. And when you when you once you go past 100, especially on a gasser, that's where you start to see a significant drop in value. Uh, anything under 100k these days is almost considered a collector's item on something this old. Something you want to keep garaged and hold on for another 20 years and hope it starts going up in value. And but anyway, 116. This one is is pretty close here. Let's let's take a look through the the picks here. Let me sorry. Let me get off of there and let's let's go through them here. There's the the front on it, and it's got that weird front light with a little push bar. I guess you can take that thing off. That's not a big deal. But other than that, it's looking pretty clean here. I don't, not a big fan of the little Viper logos they put on there. That's kind of ridiculous. But uh, other than that, at least from the outside, and you know, with these pictures, you can always see how clean they are. You can see some sun fading in the black on there. That's to be expected on a non garaged vehicle of this age. Um, but let's see what else we got. There's, I love the suicide doors there. Again, the V10 on it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, uh, I'm not up on the, the V10 in, in the Dodge line. Um, I'm more of a diesel guy. So maybe, is it the same engine that was in the Viper? It might be for all I know. Uh, let's see what else this thing has. Let's even get some interior picks to see what, uh, how clean this is. And it, it looks interesting. It's, Definitely an upgraded package here. We got the leather on the inside. Um, it's a little bit more, you know, you know, dr everyday driver rather than work truck kind of look. But, it, I mean, it's, and, of course, you're going to see that kind of cracking in leather. But, again, the other one, you saw how clean that thing was. The dash doesn't look bad. Uh, it, I mean, the rest of it's looking pretty good. Well, we got some cracks up here. That's 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 not great. Um so, yeah, 12 9 on that. Let's see. We got, do we have some more pictures? We got some more of the interior there. All right, let's see what other kind of valuations are out there. Well, we look at this one. Here's a 2000. 
3500 SLT extended cab, four wheel drive now, 133,000, call 134. Uh, so this is a, a decent truck, not a bad truck. You're looking again, uh, this is a diesel. So that, and that might explain the price to jump up to 22. Diesels carry a real premium because these trucks, when taken care of, can go a lot of miles. And 130, 134 is nothing on this truck, but 22,000 for a two, for a 23 year old truck. That's a lot of money for a truck that age. And that's a good looking truck. Uh, I don't do dualies myself because uh, I live in a small town. We got narrow streets. I don't need a dually. I'm not towing something so big that I need that kind of stuff. I mean, we have an RV and I tow some car trailers and stuff like that every so often, but, uh, and some, you know, utility trailers, those are nothing, but, uh, this is, it's a good, it's a clean looking truck. Uh, again, I'm not a not a fan of the dually personally, but oh, that interior though, <laughs> the seats need to get fixed or replaced. Uh, that that's pretty bad. Let's see the dash there. The dash is it's looking worn, not bad there. But for twenty two thousand, let's see what else we can get us into. Here's a two thousand one Ram thirty five hundred SLT quad cab long bed four wheel drive. Uh, we're looking at the V ten gasser on this one as well. We're looking at 30,000, 30,000, but 69,000 miles on it. And again, and I'm telling you, uh, the uh, once you get below, uh, I mean, look at that interior. Look at that. It's, it's almost off the showroom floor there. That is that is a nice truck. Looks clean. Um, but I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, 30,000 is what I paid for my truck. Now, my truck, granted, had Two hundred, almost almost two hundred thousand miles on it when I bought it a little over two years ago. But again, mine's the uh, two thousand fourteen. It's got the newer uh, Cummins engine in it, and you know, that truck, when taken care of, will do five hundred thousand miles easy. So uh, you know the, the gas engine you're not going to get if you get two fifty out of a gas here. You're you're doing really well, especially these bigger trucks because they're used for for towing. That's why you're buying a thirty five hundred. So now you're taking. I mean, the frame can handle it, sure. The suspension can handle it, but that gas engine, even a, a V10 is. I had a. In fact, I had the V10 Ford. I think in an RV. I had. Oh my gosh, that thing just struggled on the hills. Uh, anyway, point is, it, it's a good looking truck, but for thirty thousand, uh, I, I think I'd go with my truck. Now let's see what else we got. We got two thousand eight. Uh, we got Laramie uh, trailer tow package. You got, this has got the eight-cylinder gas engine. It's four-wheel drive, the full-size bed on it, uh, 86,000 miles. So we're right in there on the mileage. And you're coming in at 19.9. That's it's basically, I'm thinking like these guys are not far off from market, at least what other people are asking. Thing is, all these other ones we're seeing, they're all dealerships. And the deal, dealerships have overhead. You know, they, they've got, something goes wrong, there's somebody they can come back to and go, hey, he's the one who sold me this thing. Um, we, look at this. We got, uh, uh, two, in red 3,500, 2004. So you're looking at a, a gen three here, uh, SLT, uh, it's got the cap on it. I don't know if some of you like the cap, you, you know, I always think of them as the old man caps, which is funny cause I was just shopping for them. Um, look at that 63,000 miles, eight cylinder gas, four wheel drive, full size bed. And you're looking at $23,000. Um, Let's see what I think we got one more here. Uh, 2001, so you're back to a Gen 2, 3500. Uh, it's it's got the it's got the diesel engine. Uh, it's got but it's it's two wheel drive, uh, and uh, it's got 360 thousand miles. 360 thousand miles. Now uh, the on the Gen 2, the, I mean they'll get good mileage on them. I don't know if they'll do 500, but. Uh, you maybe with good maintenance, but at this point, you got to hope there's been a lot of maintenance done. But eight thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars for diesel. I mean, I have to take a look at it, run some codes, to figure out if it's worth it. But if it's clean and there's no codes and it's in good shape, that I might pick that up for uh, for that kind of price. Anyway, uh, in fact, you know, just for fun, I ran my truck uh, through here. I uh, see what the value on it. it says. Private party is between nineteen and twenty four. Uh, I've already had dealerships uh, call me and ask me if I wanted to buy it and offered me more than that. Uh, I'm at 20, 230,000 miles on mine right now. Uh, but just to see what else was out there in the market. And it's hard to find. So, uh, so mine's a mega cab. So it's a 2014, uh, what is it, the Bighorn 
uh, four wheel drive, uh, single rear wheel. I don't, as I said, I'm not, I don't do the dualies. Uh, and, uh, it's, um, and it's got the mega cab, which is a really sought after package. Uh, here's basically the same thing without the mega cab at 202,000 miles, same diesel engine. Uh, now he's got leather seats. I've got cloth. Uh, I, I prefer cloth because my two climates are, I mean, are either up here in the mountains where in the winter, you don't want to jump in on leather because it's so cold or down in the Vegas area when it's hot. And again, you don't want to sit on leather down there. So Around here, you want to you want to have uh, cloth, uh, six speed automatic transmission, four wheel drive, same as on mine. A eight foot bed. Now I have the I think it's the six and a half foot bed, so uh, that that is a, a larger bed on that one. But he's coming in at twenty eight nine, twenty eight nine. That's that's a, ba- a th- thousand bucks less than I paid for mine, and I bought mine again two years ago, which I, at the time seemed to be the height of the absurdity with buying vehicles. And I got stuck. I had planned to buy this vehicle. I'd like in about two years, we're going to be, we're going to need this vehicle and we're going to buy it. And we saved up and we paid cash for it. And uh, you know, cause we don't like to finance stuff like that. And it was, and we got stuck because we're like, okay, we planned for this, but we hadn't planned for there to be this huge pandemic, everything to go crazy and prices go through the roof. And, and I felt bad about it, but the prices on these trucks have not come down. Now, I know on some of the cars and stuff, a lot of stuff has come down a little bit or, or even up. I don't, it, at least it hasn't gone up on trucks, but I don't see it. I don't know if it's going to come down. Do you guys see it coming down? Because at least around here, prices prices have come down marginally. But on the bigger trucks, the 2500s, 2500s are as rare as hen's teeth around here. Because I'll be honest, they have a, usually have a, a better ride quality, everyday driver kind of stuff than 3,500s, because unless you're hauling a lot of stuff, 3,500 suspension is a little hard uh, to, to live with. And um, so more people are looking for the 2,500s. Uh, all, all the people are towing RVs and stuff. They're looking for 2,500s, and it, they're, they're almost impossible to come by. So anyway, I just want to give you a look at the market. We ran across that truck down there. It was in uh, Boulder City just outside of Vegas, and it was a clean, it was a good-looking truck. And I remember pulling around and looking at it and being like, man, this thing looks nice. It's older. It's a Gen 2. Maybe we can get a good deal on this. And seeing that 18.5, I mean, oh, these people are, are crazy. They're smoking the rock. And and uh, it apparently, uh, I mean, according to Kelly Blue Book and NADA, they're they're just off their rocker. But the market... The market out there, if you're trying to buy something else, it's not like there's other people going, oh, yeah, sure, I'll give you this thing for what uh, uh, KBB is saying. So I don't know what's going on there. I just want to basically check in and see where things are as far as prices. And right now, it st- seems like they're still a bit crazy. What are you seeing? Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.